What's up everybody, HTG Brian back with some more LEGO Star Wars The Complete Saga. This one happens to be Episode 4, Chapter 6, Rebel Attack Free Play! We're gonna get all 10 of those mini kits and we're gonna round up 45,000 plus studs to get that true Jedi requirement. And of course we'll get those goo bricks, but we already got that red brick in the story. That's right, this is the 2x red brick stud multiplier but we also picked up the invincibility red brick in the last free play video so we're gonna go ahead and make our way over to the main cantina bar area and order up a nice cool red brick for invincibility which will only cost us a cool million studs that's right, so hopefully you got a Milski in the tank. I know we've got a lot more than that, and we're going to gain a whole bunch more in this level too, especially since we got that invincibility now. Basically, we won't lose any studs from here on out. That's pretty sweet. So we'll go ahead and snag that up. It's all the way towards the back, right in front of the two X stud multipliers, so quite a ways down the list. And if you got some extra studs and you want to spend them on some other bricks, that's up to you. But we recommend that you save your studage until we get that next 4x or 6x or 8x, whatever the next multiplier is that we come across. Because it's going to be a expansive. All right, hop back into episode 4. And we're going to make our way all the way to the back right corner to level 6, Rebel Attack. And, of course, we're going to choose that free play option. And normally we would tell you to choose Forlom, but we got to choose a vehicle this time. So it's the TIE Fighter, as there are two doors that you need a TIE Fighter for it to open up. Now, just a quick reminder, they do cost about 35,000 studs or more. It can be purchased from the Cantina as well. And we covered all this in our Preparing for Free Play video. So if you missed out on that, maybe go back in the playlist. Right before Free Play Level 1, you should see the Preparing for Free Play video. Now, all right, mini kit number one is off to the left-hand side. As soon as you get through the first false field, we're going to go ahead and pull up close to this turnstile. It's going to pop up, and we're going to spin to win. That's right, keep shooting the green side until it stops spinning around, and that is when we're going to get down. Grab that mini kit. All right, next up, we've got, uh, well, we got to make our way up through a couple of small little gaps there, and we've got four, count them, four of these pink nodes that we got to use a bomb 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 actually it's a proton torpedo but hey don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring that bell as well i know a lot of you have already subscribed but uh analytics show that the majority of our views come from new people so make sure you click that sub button and ring that bell so you know when we upload and go live as well so all right hey over on the right hand side you probably saw there was a uh, little blue bar there i went and shot it out and behind it was a minikit now on the left side there is a tie fighter door we're going to open that by just selecting the tie fighter and flying up close to it as we go inside we find that there is a proton torpedo spot we're going to drop one in there and booyaka show we got minikit number three and we're ready to rock into the next area Go ahead and take down that. Now, if you didn't take out those four nodes with the pink bomb, 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 bomb bombs, you're going to have to go back and do that because that's how you can get through to the next side. So. All right. As we move along, we're going to go up the left-hand side. We're going to see a uh, proton torpedo dispenser. And right after that, another turnstile. Make sure you shoot the green side to go ahead and spin it around and make that mini kit puke out. Blech. Now, on the left-hand side of that is another TIE Fighter door. This one's kind of tricky, and we recommend you start in the bottom left-hand corner as it's kind of like a slalom course. you got to go back and forth and forth and back, and if you do it right and get all those green panels lit up before the first one disappears and goes back to the dark side, you're going to go ahead and get that mini kit to pop up. Now, over on the far right side, you probably notice there's kind of like a fork in the road as we get that true Jedi requirement too. Uh, the fork actually is basically two different paths. You can go up and down, left and right. It doesn't matter. Uh, we are going to go ahead and stack up a bunch of these proton torpedoes and take out all four of these nodes here. Turns out there's another dispenser right there. And as we continue all the way back on this right side, there is another TIE Fighter door. So wait a minute. I said there was two. There's actually three. <laughs> I guess I need to learn how to math. Once we get the door open, it stays open. You're going to want to switch to some sort of a vehicle that can actually tow. So we've got multiple ones. Which one you use does not matter to me. Uh, this is kind of my favorite. It's small. It's sleek. It does good. Uh, and look at this. There's another TIE Fighter door. So listen, listen. All right, I made a mistake on how many. You needed a TIE Fighter. That's all that really mattered. We'll go ahead and get up close and personal to that. Of course, when we switch to the TIE Fighter, it drops the old bomb. And, of course, I got bad aim, too. My bad. See, like I was saying, there's multiple vehicles that can tow. This guy's a little bit bigger, and he does have a little bit more powerful cannon. 
So if you're into that kind of thing, you know, or if you need it, definitely. Look at that. Pew, pew, pew. It's got the double pews. And we're going to go all the way back because we need one more bomb. I don't know if you noticed, but there was a force field, and we took out one of two kind of generators for that. And the only way to take them down is with these guys, these bombs, these tow bombs. So, whoa, I was not paying attention. To be honest with you, my dog actually had eaten some paper, and I was literally going to grab it out of his mouth at that point. So, woo to the who, got it from the dog. All right, uh, booyaka shout. Now we got that. All right. We'll go ahead and smash that mini kit, and we are ready to go out. Now, keep in mind, we do have quick links down below in the video description if you're in a hurry to get to the next mini kit. But you shouldn't be because it's right there, right outside the door. You just have to smash that wall with the blue stripes on it, and it should reveal the next mini kit. Now, we do have a little bit of a gap between this, well, that collectible and the next collectible, but it's not too far. Now, there is a there's actually a really tricky one coming up here, and if you go too far too fast, you might actually have to replay the whole level. Now, this game's been pretty forgiving about letting you go back and forth through the different areas as you progress through levels. So, like, let's say you get from section one into section two, and then you're like, oh, crap, I forgot something in section one. So you turn around and go back to that. Um, it allows you to do that. But in the trench run, when we get up here, it does not. And you're going to definitely want to make sure that you get the mini kit before you get in there. But that's coming up. That's not yet. That's not yet. We'll get to that. Now, as soon as we get into the next section here, we're going to find ourselves another turnstile. Hopefully your aim is good, and I do mean G-U-D good. That's right. Uh, if it is, you should be all right, and it should reveal the mini kit, and you should click it and be on your way to the next collectible. Now, I have to be honest. I am not exactly sure what is happening right here. Like, clearly, this is a feature of this ship. And, and somehow I activated it. I, I wasn't sure what to do. So I just switched to another ship. And look at that. Booyah kashow. We've got uh, some proton torpedoes, some more pink nodes that need to be blown up. And there's actually two sections of four. So you're going to need eight total uh, successful hits, really. But, um, you know, you might, you might miss a few or... Uh, there's definitely some ships that crash into you that absorb your proton torpedoes, too. So you got to be careful with that. Now, for me, I'm using the TIE Fighter because it doesn't have that <laughs> tractor beam effect that was sucking in all the enemy ships, and uh, it works out quite well. I'm pretty used to the flying. Now, once you get all eight of those exploded, you can actually go through. But wait, wait, don't go, don't go. You're going to want to shoot on the left-hand side. If you go too far, you're going to actually get sucked into the trench, into the trench run, and that is not going to be very fun. See, basically, you can't come back because you have to dip in and down, and there's really no way to get out of that. Now, because we equipped the invincibility brick, we could just kind of come through here on a leisurely Sunday stroll and just kind of smash our way through and collect all those studs. Thank you very much. All right, we'll add them to the bag. Oh, look at that. Fooled you. <laughs> those guys follow you pretty well. And I, I guess it looks like I took out one of the little guys. We just want to get to the very end of this. But before you destroy that middle piece there, you're going to want to go to the back left corner as there is one more turnstile with the mini kit. And if you didn't follow along with our story videos and you have not yet got that 2x stud multiplier red brick you're gonna to want to go to the back right corner now as it's tucked away right in that little crevasse we're actually gonna do a loop-de-loop -loop and we obtain this in the story which is why you're not gonna physically see it but it's right there in that corner and there's your quick reminder to go ahead and smash the like button not only here but on Facebook as well because every Friday we have a giveaway and that's uh, something you might be interested in oh to the yeah we have officially got that true Jedi stud requirement and we're going to get paid out for all that. Back over six mil ski. Thank you very much. Now, what do we got? We got uh, we got a bunch of mini kits that are going to pay out nicely, too. That's that's I, I definitely can't get over that. Like, it's such a new feature to me, even though this is, like, one of the oldest LEGO games ever. I, I wish they'd bring that back. I'm hoping in Star Wars Skywalker Saga that they actually pay you out for not only getting the gold bricks, but also the mini kits, too. That, that's pretty awesome. So look at that. You get 100K for the gold bricks as well. Cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Thank you. I'll take that. All right. Hey, that's going to wrap it up for Rebel Attack Free Play. That's right. It's episode four, chapter six, just in case you're wondering. Don't forget to check us out on social media as I've been pushing through the whole video. Uh, yeah, we've got lots of fun stuff coming to happythumbsgaming.com. If you haven't been there in a while, you're going to want to soon as it's getting a facelift. As for me, though, that's going to do it. As always, until next time.